The Armenian national team have returned home Monday after a successful participation at the European Weightlifting Championships in Moscow. They were met by their excited fans at the Zvartnots airport in Yerevan. Armenia took third place in the medal standings of the combined totals, winning two gold, two silver and four bronze medals. European champion Samuel Gasparian has dedicated his victory to the heroes who died in the recent Artsakh Nagorno-Karabakh war. Today we had to win and prove that we are a strong nation, he told museum support. The European Weightlifting Championships are a qualifier to the Tokyo Olympics. The Azerbaijanis fired shots at the farmers working in the fields of Salushan village in Artsakh, Nagorno-Karabakh. The Artsakh Ministry of Internal Affairs has prepared a report on this incident to submit to the command of the Russian peacekeeping contingent in Artsakh. Besides, the service in the police outposts on the Shosh Salushan Garmishuga motorway will continue in an intensified mode. Also, outposts will be added there for round-the-clock monitoring. The Red Cross delegation in Yerevan has shared photos of abandoned agricultural machinery near the Armenian Azerbaijani border. According to ICRC's statement, the Karabakh conflict has made it difficult, sometimes impossible, to cultivate the lands. Wars should not impede the safe development of territories necessary for the survival of the population, the ICRC added, attaching photos to the statement. Relatives of Armenian POWs and missing soldiers gathered near the Armenian government building on Monday, demanding a meeting with Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. The government spokesman talked to them, but it is not clear yet whether Pashinyan will meet with them. Armenia's President Armen Sarkisan has applied to the Constitutional Court on the changes to the Judicial Code initiated by the authorities. Experts have noted that these changes launched by the authorities will help them put pressure on the judicial power and thus to expand their own power. According to the statement of the President's office, regulations proposed by the law are situational and seemingly problematic. The law runs seemingly counter to the Constitution and therefore the President has decided to apply to the the Constitutional Court to determine the constitutionality of the law on addenda and amendments to the Judicial Code and related laws. On April 10, the Constitutional Court received the President's application, which will initially be examined within 20 days. As of Monday morning, 510 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia, and the total number of these cases has now reached 203,327 in the country. Also, 18 more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 3,753 cases. Meanwhile, the authorities noted that the UK strain of the coronavirus is already circulating in Armenia, and it is not ruled out that some people in the country have symptoms caused by this strain. The specialists also said that 600 people have already been vaccinated against COVID-19. Vaccinations with AstraZeneca are scheduled to start on Tuesday in Yerevan and on Wednesday in the provinces of Armenia. Armenia has acquired AstraZeneca and Sputnik V vaccines with 24,000 and 15,000 batches respectively.